Lesson 12.5, Classifying Quadrilaterals. So we are going to start on this first page here. And we are going to um, look at these below and we're going to write the letters of which they are. So we kind of did this yesterday, but we're going to go individually here. So let's start with G. Is it a trapezoid, a parallelogram, a rectangle, a square, or a rhombus? Remember, they can be more than one. Okay, well, we know for sure it's a rectangle. Is it a trapezoid? Are all sides the same? No. Is it a parallelogram? Does it have parallel sides? Yes, it does. Is it a square? Are all sides the same? No. Is it a rhombus? Are all sides the same length? No. Okay, so we're done with G. Let's go to M. Is it a trapezoid? No. Is it a parallelogram? Yes, all sides are the same. Is it a rectangle? No, no four right angles. Square? No, no four right angles. Rhombus? No, all sides are not the same. All right, so let's keep going. R. R is a trapezoid, one pair of parallel sides. Is it a parallelogram? No, not all sides are parallel. Does it have four right angles? No, four right angles, no. All sides the same? No, we're done with R. L, one pair of parallel sides? No. All sides parallel? Yes. Oh, sorry, we're still on L. Four right angles, no? Four right angles, no. All sides the same length, no. One pair of parallel sides, yes. All sides parallel, no. Four right angles, no. Four right angles, no. All sides the same length, no. B. not a trapezoid. It does have four sides that are parallel. No right angles, but the sides are the same length. Q. Q does not fit anywhere, does it? This is a loner. It doesn't belong in our box. O. Where do you think O belongs? Trapezoid. Does it belong anywhere else? Nope, that's it. N, where do you think N belongs? A parallelogram. Anywhere else? Nope, that's it. And what about U? Where does U belong? U is our loner again. U doesn't have a place. So U and Q don't have a place to go. And look, we have no squares. None. All right, let's keep going. So we're going to talk about true and false statements. And we're going to talk about what makes them true or false. So are all rectangles squares? This is all rectangles are squares. That is false because squares have to have equal sides. Rectangles do not have equal sides. Every rhombus is a parallelogram. True, because if it has one pair of parallel sides, it's gonna have, if it has all the sides the same length, then they're all going to be parallel. Parallelograms are special rectangles. That's a false because parallelograms do not have four right angles. A trapezoid can be a square. Also false, because we do not have right angles. Okay, so make sure that when we are looking at our shapes, we are paying attention to our hierarchy. So remember our quadrilaterals are four sides, then our parallelograms mean that all sides are the same. 
And then rectangles have parallel sides but two different pairs, which is why it's under the parallelogram. But it also has four right angles. Square has all sides equal, which makes them all parallel. And four right angles, which makes it also a rectangle. So remember when you're reading it, this can be this, but this cannot be this. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, I have it backwards. A square can be a rectangle. A rectangle cannot be a square. A square can be a rhombus, but a rhombus cannot be a square. So they have this in common. Okay?